as you've heard, welcome back to Slime Rancher 2. In the last episode, of course, we've been gathering up bunches of slimes. We now have a good sort of grouping of both puddle slimes, uh, flutter slimes, a good chunk of different stuff. One thing a lot of people mentioned that I'm going to go fix right now is that apparently I have too many puddle slimes in one little puddle. So <laughs> let me go and fix that really quickly. I thought I could make that jump, but if they have the little red markings on them, that means there's just too many and I guess they get shy. Maybe I had misread it and I thought that, it, that if there was too little around, they wouldn't produce enough. So let's see how many I can really get here. So I think, yeah, it just has to be three. Okay, gotcha. I had, must have misread it and thought that you needed at least three around to grow into, or for them to grow more quartz. You know what I mean? Either way, that's good that we got that figured out. And I'll just have to make some more uh, puddles. I'll, obviously, I'll have the space, and I want to open up the archway over that way in today's episode, too. So we'll have even more space soon enough. But for right now, I want to grab all this stuff. How is everybody doing on food? It looks like some people might need a couple more mint mangoes soon. So let's go ahead and do that. I think that. I think they're good on the, the medium setting. It could be hard to tell from here. But for right now, we're just going to suck up whatever we can from all this. And we have a lot going on in today's episode for sure. Lots of things to focus on. I, I see that these guys are looking a little hungry, so let's see how much they've been fed. Um, it looks like they're fine. We might just have to make it a higher productivity and see how much more we can grab from here, because there's a lot of hens over this by now, so that's good. So we just want the briar hens. We can throw out the roosters again. Let's see, grab some elders. I haven't seen any chickens, or not chickens, but <laughs> slimes that actually like the the elders the most, but I'm sure they're out there. We'll send a couple out just like that, but mostly we just wanna sack this up. And then over here we will load up some more honey and flutter ports just in case we need them soon, because I'm sure we will. But as it currently stands, we have over 33,000 coins and I wanna make sure those get well spent. So running back over this way, I wanna open up our new area, the archway and that'll be pretty cool. Beyond that, there is one more area to grab here, but I wanna save that for some other time, I'm sure. I think this will be good enough for now. So over here, the archway, an expansion to, to the conservatory set amongst ancient ruins and fields of rainbow grass. So let's definitely grab that and take a quick look around here. I'll set up some more of our puddle slimes, but unfortunately, if there can only be three per puddle, I'll probably just do one more worth, but this is a very cool area. I do like it. So there's probably another GG log around here somewhere. That would be nice to grab, so I might poke around a little bit trying to find that, but I won't go too crazy. Just trying to see if I can't find it at a glance. Oh, maybe over here? If it isn't, then I'm going to turn back, yeah. It might be around, it might not, but what's up here? <laughs> this could be something. Oh yeah, what about, this island has to be something, because this shows up on the map, right? It does. So it has me very curious, and there it is. There's the GG log. So let's interact with you. I had been pacing all over the conservatory after it happened, my mind racing with what I should have done differently. I felt so guilty, so misguided. I ended up in these ruins and I just slumped up against one of the walls, totally exhausted. The stones were so solid and cold and I felt the weight of the history they carried with them. And then a tiny bug crawling along one of the cracks in the wall slipped inside and it, it, it vanished. It passed through these ancient stones as if they were smoke. That's when it all came to me. Huh, interesting. All right then, so obviously, whoever these logs are that we're reading, some drastic things have happened. Okay, so we wanna head back over here then. We'll set up the puddle slimes at least a little bit with what we got, but there are one, two, three, four or five plots here. So we have a lot to work with. I think I'm just going to put it at the easiest, most accessible one right here. We're just going to do another little uh, a pond here, just like that. Set these guys up. So just three of them. I think the rest of them will just return to the wild for now. But when it comes to over here, I'm going to set this up a little bit you know, ahead of time. The incinerator, don't need it, burn it. Because what our main goal for today's episode is going to be is going to turn this into an ash trough. An ash trough allows you to collect the ash of incinerated food at its base, which is eaten exclusively by fire slimes. It's gross. So we definitely want that so that the fire slimes stay nice and fed. I don't think there's anything yet we can do to upgrade these uh, water slime. So yeah, that's our main goal in today's episode. We'll be heading back to the Ember Valley into that very uh, fiery spot so that we can get some fire slimes. It should be a lot of fun. I just need to make sure that the rest of our slimes are sitting pretty well and hopefully 
can handle that, because these guys have lots and lots of food. And we can collect some even more right here. So I'll grab some of this stuff and make sure that we're all set up and ready to go. But it'll be good to check in on everybody, right? So get those two, get one more, and same thing over this way. I think we have plenty in the, in the refinery. So I should just be able to sell these off right away, even though we, I don't even know if we'll need the money at this point. And that's sort of where I'm a little curious about like where exactly, what stage am I in the game at this point? Am I towards the end or are we just really getting started here? Obviously there's lots of things I can continually um, collect so that our town or our little ranch gets bigger and crazier, but is it really necessary for the, you know, the pr progress of the game? I'm not quite sure. But I guess we'll find out over time. Right now though, we gotta grab strawberries. One small step at a time, right? So, or Q-berries. I know that they're basically supposed to be strawberries, but they're called Q-berries. Okay, gonna grab that. There's a carrot on the ground. And, oh, a port. How did that get out here? I don't know. No, 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 that's not what I want. Here, send that back in. So they have lots of carrots. Why is that happening? There you go. And this has plenty too, so I'll grab some of this stuff and we'll probably sell this too, but afterwards. There we go. Some more this way. I know a lot of people have been telling me I don't need pink ports anymore, and I know. Uh, I just haven't had the time to replace these. So might as well, you know? And I feel like pink ports are used quite often in the refinery, so it doesn't seem like it would hurt to just keep stacking it up until we have a ton. We currently have 224. What if later in the game they do release something that adds a lot more stuff that we need pink port for? I'm not really quite sure. So that is something I'm just careful of and that's why I wanted to have 100 of each in the silo as much as I can. Um, so we'll sell some of this stuff so that we're back up on cash a little bit more. But I basically gotta do the same thing for the rest of the slimes. I'll just check in on them, try to take a couple of the ports so their things aren't overflowing and make sure they have good food before we head out on our journey. All right, so it's getting a little later in the day, but that's all right. The, the first time I see a puddle, I'll be releasing these puddle slimes. I'll grab some extra food just in case we run into anything cool that might need the food. But like I said before, our main focus for right now is just getting to Ember Valley so that we can sort of just pick up some fire slimes. We already know where they are. If I find some cool stuff along the way, if we find some extra material and stuff, that's always good. So any more of the, uh, whatever it's called, the, the slime rock or the deep brine or silky sand, all that kind of stuff is always good to look for, so I'll take my opportunity if I stumble across it. But for right now, I'm not really finding too much. There's also one last pod, if you see in the bottom right. There's one last pod we're looking for somewhere on in today's episode. Hopefully we can find it, but if not in today's episode, definitely next episode, I wanna focus a little bit more on that. Because I think that this is more or less the last slime we need to get. I do see a little bit more up there, so I wanna try to get around to it. Just. Right up there, got it. Oh, and there's some more over here too. Okay, this is perfect. But yeah, I think next episode, I wanna focus a little bit more about running through the map, collecting extra stuff I might have missed, and on top of that, getting whatever Gordo slimes might be waiting for us, because there's a ton of those all over the map, I can point out, you know? One like here, there, there, and there, and there. They're all over the place. So I think taking your time and exploring all that kind of stuff to make sure that we get all the Gordos would be pretty important. So that's something I wanna do. And also, I did wanna step, I don't know if I have any right now. Uh, oh, I don't, I just have the, the little teleporters. Okay, so I don't need that right now. Yeah, we'll just head out. Like I said, if I find a puddle, I'll use that to release the puddle slimes. But beyond that, we should be good just to find the, the fire slimes. Okay, so we finally found this little puddle so we could release these little guys. They can enjoy that. And, oh, here we go, the silky sand. Sometimes spawns here. Always good to have more of that. So, happy about that. And I think we're well on our way to where we need to go. If we get lost, we can always pull up the map, but as long as we're generally going in that direction, we're fine. Now I need to jump up to this one. There we go. Or maybe I'm not going the right way. Okay, well there's a cave over here, so I can just keep moving. There we go. You know, I'm trying to sort of remember how to get there on my own without having to use the map too much. Oh, I wonder if I've been up there. That looks like something, right? Let's try to, ooh, I don't know if I can gain that much height to get up here. I can, but I gotta wait here for a second. A little awkward. <laughs> and then we can jump, use the jetpack again. And now I'm up here. I feel like I've been here before though, now that I'm up here. Oh yeah, I do remember this. And this is where we found a huge stash of the puddle slimes and a lot of the primordial oil. 
definitely make sure we grab whatever we can of that because it's a very nice sash of things to find. There we go, so that's eight primordial oil. I remember this now. We already found that pod, so I think we're good to continue far forward. I could try getting across that way because I feel like I haven't too much. Obviously, like this way with the body, body slime. Let's try it. I'm just going to try to flutter across very simply, and we can also find some extra radiant ore, which, you know what? If I have the slot for it, I might as well. If I need to give up anything, I'll give up the carrots for now. I should have put the uh, the jelly stone away while I had the chance, right? <laughs> that was a little silly of me, but it's okay. So we're just gonna keep looking for now, and hopefully we can find some stuff along the way. Okay, so yeah, we're in this cave again, and this is where we found both boom slimes, oh, I see some tar, and some fire slimes. I think the fire slimes we found back this way, so I'm gonna throw a couple of carrots to hopefully satiate somebody while we're looking for them. Those are the boom slimes, but that right there, that's a fire slime. Okay, I found this fatty gordo again. Wait, here you are, here you are. So that's two slimes. I wanna try to get like a good five or six of them at the least, so we'll keep looking around. That's a boom. A huge chunk of them popped out before when we are right over here. Here's a third one. So that's already pretty good. I can't really complain about that too much because they really do seem to be sort of the opposite counterpart to what is this? Oh, that's just Deep Brian just sitting here. I probably threw that out before. <laughs> okay, there's another fire slime. We're up to four. And I'm not seeing too much else. There is some dust here. You know what? I like the radiant ore, but it's not as difficult to get to as this lava dust. So I think we know to make that trade. I feel like radiant ore is actually surprisingly easy to get. There's our fifth fire slime, and oh my goodness, that is a lot. Okay, let's try splashing them. Whoa whoever we can get to, because they are all over the place, and more slimes are popping up, which is sort of good and bad, because they're just gonna turn into more tar eventually. I guess, it, I don't know if this really accomplishes anything trying to get rid of these guys, but at least for my own safety while I'm trying to collect things like this primordial oil, would be great. Because more of them are trying to get over. Oh gosh, let's just keep moving this way. And I definitely already read that one. Just trying to see if there's any extra materials we can get before we head out of here, because we're doing great with things like that. I also want to make sure if there are any Gordos to stumble across that I go up to them so that I can properly mark it on my map, because if that's something we want to focus on in the next episode, which it definitely is, I think it's just good to get those things accomplished, because I'm pretty sure there's going to be more than one, two, three Gordos, especially if you compare it to Starlight Strand, where there's one, two, three, four, five, um, so yeah, there's a lot more. So how about this area? I know that there's one off in the distance way over there, but any others I've yet to see, I don't think. This way I've been just a little bit. Yeah, it's where I was before, so I probably don't wanna go that way too much for now. Just trying to take a look around now. Ooh, got some angry slimes over that way. So that's a batty boom. Is that also a batty boom? I guess so, they're both body booms. Because I think just like the puddle slimes, the fire slimes can't combine with anything. Which is a bit odd when you think about it, that it works that way, it just sort of, the game sort of breaks its own rules. But I don't know, I guess that's the world of Slime Rancher, you can never really know until you find out, right? Let's grab some extra lava dust. Which honestly, I don't know too many other things that need the lava dust that we need to build right now, but I'd rather have it now, you know, build that little collection. This might have been a mistake but I might be able to make it up here. Yes, I can, awesome. Even if I do run into more fire slimes, I don't think I'll need much more than five. I don't know if it's going to be like the puddle slimes where there can only be three per um, incinerary or whatever it's called, incinerator. So I think I'll keep it at five for now and we'll see how many we actually need. But I got a couple more of that, that's always good. Crazy, you know, the complicated ecosystem going on around here. Always cool to see. So let's grab some extra primordial oil right here. And, ooh, yeah, there was this good stash of it. <laughs> little little ringtail slime hanging out here causing some trouble, I'm sure. Weird spot for them to be, though. I think there might have been a little bit more on this side. Yeah, I do remember. So I'm just trying to make sure I get what I can now so that we really make this trip worth it. 
Okay, so I'm boosting up, Wee. But it feels like at this point we have more or less explored most of the map, at least we've seen most of what there is to see in terms of like the different environments and stuff. There's still like probably little hidden corners of it that we have yet to uncover so we can find more pods and collectibles and such. But I mean more so the environments themselves, I think we've seen, that's not what I meant to do, but luckily I had the water up. Ooh, speaking of pod, there's one right here I missed. So good to grab this. And what will this have inside? This has a tall magma clump, blueprint acquired. Bubbling up from deep underground, these magma clumps give off tremendous amounts of heat. Very cool. And then what about over here? We got this. That was good. Oh, I see this one, this lava dust. That was good. And like I said, I wanna walk up to this Gordo to make extra sure that we actually get it. Hmm. But I, ha I don't know if I really poked around this area too much before. I don't have what this Boom Slime needs right now, this Boom Gordo, but I walked up to it, so as you can see, it's all on our thing. I'm so curious to see what's beyond that. Whoa, there's multiple pods. I saw it there for a second. There was two pods there. Maybe there's more on the other side, so what secrets are going to be uncovered from that one? That's the kind of stuff I want to start figuring out in the next episode, is really go on a proper sort of Gordo spree. I think that'll be a lot of fun. But for right now, I'm mostly focused on getting home with these fire slimes because things are looking a little dangerous around here. I got a lot of good materials out of this, so the last thing I'd want is to get knocked out now. So let's try to make our way home. I'll grab whatever extra materials I might have missed. Like there is a little bit of uh, primordial oil. I just gotta make sure I don't fall in the water. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to get any of the upgrades that help me keep some of my materials when I get taken out. A lot of you guys let me know that's what the uh, the one, the tank liner or whatever it's called is. It helps you keep your stuff if you do fall in the water or lose your health, which honestly not too many things do damage you too much. Like I don't think we've ever been at risk of actually getting defeated by the slimes. So we're gonna head back this way. I'll try to search around a little bit more just to be sure there's no other Gordos because I feel like there has to be more than three of them, right? Well, there's four of them, I thought. One, two, three. Huh. I don't know, because there's five over here. So there's probably more I just haven't uncovered in some kind of uh, cave somewhere hidden by something. I'm sure we'll discover it eventually, but not the biggest rush in the world to find out right now, you know? For right now, it's just about getting home and getting set up with what we got. So that's exactly what I'm gonna go do. Well, I'm finding more material. I'm sort of searching around on this side because I'm pretty sure I've been here, but at the same time, it's not looking super familiar. So, trying to grab some extra primordial oil. I don't think I've ever had this much in one go. Now there, I've definitely been down, but up this way, finding some crystal pink Largos, which I feel like is a more uncommon one we don't see all that often. I'm looking around for any pods I might be able to find. Since I don't think I've been around this spot too much, Oh yeah, that's right, that's where I found one of the diamond things. Okay, see, I, I've sort of picked up where I am. Yeah, that's right, okay, it's all coming back to me now, I know where I am. So we found a little bit of extra material too, so that's good. And sometimes, not often, yeah, I need to find the thing for that. I think it's around here, right over here. So this one needs a boom slime port. Good to keep that stuff in mind too. So I can't do that right now because my inventory's full, but I will definitely, oh no, be coming back. Please don't make a mistake now. <laughs> That'd be so bad. I wonder what's up there, actually. That might be a good time to satiate my curiosity because, you know, I have the time. So let's fly up like this, and then maybe I can make it onto one of these things. There you go. Just gotta make my way up a little bit out of time. Is this, this is another Gordo. Okay, so we have the Rock Gordo up here. I was right, there's more Gordos waiting for us. Can't believe I haven't found this one. Um, but there we go. And this one, of course, is a Rock Gordo, so it needs veggie. I wonder what's under it. It is making a golden shimmery noise, which means I've probably not been in here, right? I don't know. Or maybe this is where I just was. I'm just very bad at directions. Oh, this is the other side of the door. That's so odd that you could just get around some other way. What's the point of the door? All right, well, I'll take what I can from it. More silky sand is definitely not something I will ever complain about, but. I think that's about it for here. I'll let this boost me up so we can look around a little bit more, but I don't think there's much else for this room, so we just jump back across. This tar making a 
big problem for me down there. Quite the chore. But I am going the right way if I leave, so we're fine. Don't have to worry about it. But I've been in that cave so many times, I had no idea there was a Gordo right over my head the entire time. And that's the fun benefits of exploring, right? Going back to areas you've already been to, but maybe with a different perspective. Okay, so I need to turn around here. <laughs> Speaking of different perspectives, uh, let's head back up, and I think we'll be just about good to go. I don't see anything else left to grab that I can really afford to grab right now, so we're heading back with our five fire slimes and a lot of different materials that will be really great for advancing. So, we're gonna get this, and off we go. See, I'm really excited about this. This should be some really good progress for us. First, I'll drop off these before I get distracted and forget. So, five silky sand, four or th yeah, four jelly stone, 28 primordial oil, and 13 of the lava dust. So, really great collection added there. As you can see, we're sort of pretty well topped off for now. There's plenty of stuff I need to go get. Um, wait, what is, oh, that's the button for this. Okay, now I know, it, it's Q. I'm using the keyboard, by the way. Uh, so, good to know. So. Obviously, like I said earlier at the archway, we set up a little extra something over here so that we can deposit our fire slimes. Which I don't know if we read about the fire slimes last episode. I think we did. Because how they work is we just put them in here, just like this. And let's see, can they, can five work here? And then we get some food like this, and we put that in the incinerator, and it makes ash. And then we just launch that in there, and they'll just make it. Now the thing is, I don't know if they'll get hungry, or if there's an easier way to collect them. But there we go, we can do that. They're gonna be just sort of sitting around. And speaking of which, we got our friends over here producing plenty of wonderful puddle plorts, which we also need a lot of. So we just probably need to run around and collect some extra plorts, just like we did right there. And what one thing might make it easier is getting up another um, delivery thing. But at the same time, it might not be that important. It looks like we do have a message for us. So that'll be good to check out, but for right now, I'm mostly focused on these plorts and getting everything properly designated, because once we get both the water plort and the plutters and the fire, we have over 100 of all the easy to obtain plorts, everything except for the gold, which I don't even want to imagine. I haven't found a single one of them. I don't think they're really made to be stored to build things, but I'll probably hold on to the one I got. Uh, just in case. But yeah, I just gotta run around and make sure everybody's good on food after our little excursion and sell what I can just to make some extra cash if not anything else, but I really don't even need the money. At least not right now, I don't think. And it's been a bit since we've been here, but as you can see, we now have 100 boom ports to capitalize on. And same thing for the hunter or the ringtail ports, which I think both, we've gone to 100 already in our refinery. I I'll double check because Hard to believe that, it happened so quickly, you know? But, uh, yeah, 100 there, on 100 there. So that is crazy, I, I can barely believe that, but how are they doing in the feeder? I guess they're out too? Okay, they've been eating really quickly. So let's grab up, okay, there's a bunch waiting for us, so. Let's grab some more of that, there's plenty more on the tree waiting too. Oh, that's actually already a maximum of 40, wow, okay. Let's fill that up there, and I might give them a couple too, because it looks like they're a bit hungry. So I'll do that and then toss five in there. And we'll get a couple more that are waiting for us on the ground. Get that all put in there. But then they should have a lot of plorts waiting for us as far as I can tell, that'll be exciting. A couple more over here. Yep, they have over 50 of the uh, flutter ports. So that's really exciting. Plop a couple more in there. We don't really need the honey right now for our refinery, but it can always sell for a decent price, so I definitely don't mind. Just getting a few more of those, and max out on this, because this is what we actually need in the refinery, just in case. Okay, so we'll grab some more there, and start putting this stuff in. And then we'll check out on our little Puddle ports over this way, because I'm sure they've been producing a bit more. Yes, they have, so a couple more over here, there, and this way. Okay, so I'll put you guys back in, and we should be good to go with that. So I think it really is interesting, because there's a lot more pots left open that I could do stuff with, and it's sort of a matter of thinking, what should I do with them? I think that I should put them just to maybe growing some more basic you know, foods. That way we can use those to pop Gordos open. You know, because I have a lot of food growing, but it's all dedicated to the guys I already have. So that might be a good idea. 
In the meantime, one other thing I need to do is I need to move the all the briar hens I have in that current little setup over here over to this one so I can actually deliver them to the slimes that like them the best. Uh, but let's go ahead and get these sold. The honey ports and then the booms and, there were th and the ring tails as well, which they all sell for some great prices. We have more money than we know what to do with, you know? It, it just keeps going up and up. I thought 33,000 was allowed, now we're at 46,000, so that's crazy. But for the water ports, they all go right here. I do wanna check in on these guys in the cave. Whatever extra food I might have, I wanna toss over to the fire slimes. I really don't know how often they need to be fed, or how crazy they get when they're not getting fed. Because, you know, some slimes go really crazy, they run around, they cause some problems. I don't know if that's the case for the fire and puddle slimes. Obviously not the puddle slimes, because they just feed on the water. This thing is at 100 again. It happens so quick with these guys. We'll go ahead and get another 40 each from them. I'll have to do a couple more runs over soon enough. For right now, this is good enough. And then we will, uh, grab what other, other food we can get and make sure that their stuff is super duper filled up because this stuff produces a lot really quickly. And it seems like, you know, there's enough slimes in here. I, it never seems like they're all that hungry. So I can only imagine that, you know, this is feeding them the appropriate speed. So once that's topped off, maybe I could save some of this and bring it to a Gordo somewhere. Because this is a fruit, yeah, okay. Because obviously, I'm, I'm sure feeding the Gordos their favorite kinds of foods would give the most optimal results, but it's probably not the only necessary thing. We have a huge bundle of different kinds of foods. Might as well do that too. Okay, so let's do that. I'll get these beets for um, whatever we need them for. And then I think that's really, that's all I can hold for right now. So unless I can get more of the same, which, you know, there's some extra stuff growing, so I can. Then we'll bring this stuff back over. I will... I think I'm going to feed, obviously I have some of these for the tabbies, but I, I might just give some of them over to the fire slimes too, just to see. And then like I said, I'll bring the briar hens over. So you guys can be topped off a little bit more, but we're getting closer to 100, which is always exciting. I think the same deal with these guys. Yeah, they're coming in pretty high at this point, so. And these have grown into, everything grows so quick, almost a little too quick, so. I'll just get everything topped off again and we'll, we'll see where we are after that. But then we gotta read that message. It's been waiting for me for a minute. So I must have actually already done it because I don't see any briar hens in here. I I don't remember doing that, but I just wanna make sure that all the briar hens that were in here get moved over to the other one and it looks like I did. So I guess we have a bunch of chickens, hen hens, if we, oh no, not the carrots, not the carrots. I need the carrots. Whoops, okay. I'm gonna take everybody back. There we go. I need the carrots to feed the, uh, the fire slimes real quickly. But this is another material we can use to satisfy a bunch of Gordos, so that's always good. But for right now, let's read that message and then we'll feed our fire slimes. And then I wanna upgrade whatever gear we might be able to get now. Uh, but Victor has some more stuff to say. Oh Beatrix, I was up all night trying to synthesize the perfect gift for you. Hypothesizing, testing, throwing my results in the trash and starting all over again. Finally, I discovered an alternative method. Shopping for something online. <laughs> The process was surprisingly straightforward. Oh wow, the green home portal. I don't even know where to use that at this point. I haven't even used the other two. And Thora West wants to talk to us. Hi B, how goes the exploring? Word is you're up to your eyeballs and mysteries over there. Sure sounds exciting. Me, I'm wondering why baby stuff is so needlessly difficult. I've climbed the mountains that were easier than putting together a crib with this tiny Allen wrench they give you. <laughs> Anyway, Hobson and I just wanted to say thank you. I don't think we would have come to realize we wanted a kiddo without you in our lives. I always saw a bit of myself in you. After you restored Hobson's dusty old ranch and made it made us realize not only the marks we've left on this world matter, but that it's a hoot to see a younger lot do something new with it all. So it's going to be a real treat to see what our little one ends up doing with this ranch, or wherever else our heart takes them. Thank you, B. Hobson and I are better off ha having had you be a little part of our lives, and I wish you the very best, always. Oh, but one more thing. Hobson wanted to know why you decided not to use that big old ancient device in the ruins of the glass desert to go on some grand adventure across the cosmos. I told him, Hobson Tilgers, a woman's decision to travel across space and time is theirs and theirs alone, but he is both stubborn and curious to a thought. Hmm? It was broken? Well, that doesn't don't sound right. Hobson said he left that thing primed and ready to go before he went and walked away. Said he was leaving the door open for the next adventurous soul out there. 
Well, well, Beatrix LeBeau. Seems you just find yourself another mystery. Good luck with that one, B. Maybe when this is all done, you should write yourself a book on it. Would make for a heck of an adventure story. So I think that's referencing something in Slime Rancher 1 that I wouldn't really know about, so it seems interesting if anybody might know. I'd love to hear more about it, but for right now, let's focus on the fire slime so I can get over there, just not get distracted. Yeah, it seems like we are really coming up on the end of the current amount of content, so that's always good to see that, you know, we're making some good progress one way or another. But it looks like everybody's good, producing some stuff. I just wanna make sure they have what they need. See, I just don't know, is there a limit to how much they'll produce, or? I just don't want them like going hungry at all. But it looks like, you know, we have this little, oh no, whoa, 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 let's get you, sorry. We have this little thing here. Maybe I should just worry about that. Like every time I'll just stop by the poker fruit and drop some more stuff in because that seems like it kept them happy. So maybe that's good enough for now. And it looks like there are also a couple of water ports for us to pick up too. So what's so nice about the, the puddle ports and the puddle slimes is that we can just sort of leave them there and let them go and it, and it works out perfect. So, you know, good enough for me. We get 10 more fire, six more puddle. Whoa, 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 <laughs> that was the wrong way. Um, and yeah, I, I'm just able to slowly make some progress that way, just chip away at it. So I wanna keep adding to this really quickly. But then I'll go into the caves and we'll double check everything else, just make extra sure we're making good progress and that we uh, maybe can get a couple of new stuff. I'm really not sure. So yeah, we'll go down this way and see. So there's some things like the health upgrade, the heart module too, which we do have just enough jelly stone for. I don't need this as much as I need other things, so I do wanna save off. But it looks like there's a lot of stuff that needs jelly stone, so I think running around looking for jelly stone for the rest of today's episode, as well as two more wild honey. Shouldn't it be too bad? We have plenty of everything else. So we need, what is it? We have the 10 jelly stone for that, so that would be fine. Um, for other things, what do we need here? A bunch of silky sand, rock ports, vac tank. The problem is if we use the silky sand there, we won't have it. Oh no, neither of these things needed silky sand, okay. What about this? This didn't need silky sand, but it did need a decent chunk of lava dust. So I think that's probably gonna be the thing in contention a little bit here, yeah, lava dust there. But I think we'll have enough for everything. So first off, let's get our extra tank upgrade. This is always so good to have. So I'm going to upgrade that, boom, we got it. Now down this way, we still have enough materials, so let's also get the tank guard. There we go. Um, for everything else, like I said, we almost have enough here. We need two more wild honey, which really won't be that difficult to go get, I don't think. And uh, we have enough jelly stone for this one. So I will have to go collect more jelly stone, but we get power core two. So it boosts my energy by 200, but more importantly, is even smaller. Okay, awesome. Now there could still be other upgrades to get, like I'll need more silky sand for a dash pad. I wanna at least build one of each of these just so we can understand what they do and how it works, um, just to get that experience in the game, even though it feels like I don't need them too much. And then there's of course, if we want to really trick things out, we can add a lot of these different things, which I figure, why not? And there's even a second row of stuff that we haven't found yet that I'll keep working on. But uh, yeah, beyond that, that's everything so far. Uh, I'm sure as we keep playing, we might unlock more stuff, but now that we've spent some things, you can see that like I, I need more cotton ports in there. So that's why I think it's good to have reserves just in case we end up having to craft more than I anticipated, or if the market goes up and I really need the extra cash. But as you can see, that stuff is expensive, but not that expensive to make too much of a dent in what we currently have. So things are looking good. I think we'll spend the rest of today's episode focused on, um, like I said before, collecting materials, so maybe a little bit more of the slime, and then, or the, what's it called, the uh, the slime rock, and it was two more of the honey in Starlight Strand that we need to find, so hopefully we can get both of those no problem. We found a ton of them out here before, so hopefully I don't struggle this time finding some. Okay, so here we are back in the Starlight Strand. It's so pretty here, especially during the nighttime. I don't know if we spent a ton of time here in the nighttime so far, there's still a lot we could do in this area too. We've only gotten nine out of the 24 pods that are going to be waiting around here. So that's definitely a big focus for me in the next couple of episodes now that we've gotten most of the slimes and like the core of the adventuring out of the way. Now it's more of the, the fine-tuned adventuring, you know? But beyond doing any of that for today's episode, I'm just looking for the honey, which the honey is a little bit more difficult to find than the, the buzzwax. The buzzwax is sort of all over the place, but there is a couple of spots where we can find the honey. 
I'm making my way over to them, and I'm trying to spot around for anywhere, anywhere in the meantime. But so far, I'm not finding much. I'm trying to go different paths than I normally go, so that if there's a chance I could stumble across something, I take it, but so far, not really looking like it. So we'll go back over this way. There's already Taurus popping up, I can hear him, but I'm gonna ignore that. And if I do see any nectar, that's another thing. That only pops up during the nighttime, right? So perfect timing that I'm here now. So, ow, rude, they're chomping me. Haven't seen any just yet, but we have a little bit of time left in the night. If I see any nectar just laying around, I need to make sure I grab it because that is something we need for a Gordo. It's so really good to make the most of that. So, haven't seen any yet, but I know that there are some spots where it seems like it commonly pops up. Can I get up here? Oh, not in time. Here's some normal buzz wax, which I'll grab because you know I can't hurt to have. I know that there are certain building things we've been using it for. They're still attacking me. But I can only assume, you know, compared to the other Gordos we've had experience with, that these Gordos are going to need a lot of, uh... oh, I see some up there. As long as that's 20 of them, we'll be good. That this gourd is gonna need a lot of this right here, the nectar. So, and I can even feed it to them right now, just to, you know, save myself some time and energy. Just plop it over. There you go. Hope you like it, because that's just exactly what we have to do. I don't see any more up here, unfortunately, and that's just sort of the thing. Is it takes a lot of work to find them, more than you'd expect. Is that one up there? Is that why it's going over here? Or is that just a light? I think it's just light. Okay, so we'll go off that way. We'll see if we can't find any more. Cause you know, we got the two wild honey we need for the next upgrade, but I would love to find more. So, oh no, no, wait, <laughs> that's not where I needed that. Get back. There we go. Let's not risk it too much anymore. Oh gosh. I haven't been making the most though of the fact that we do now have six inventory slots. Why is that not going in? Am I maxed out or something? There it goes, that was so silly. And unfortunately, it looks like it's morning time now, so our chances of getting the nectar are uh, much lower. And there's tar running around, causing problems for us. This is quickly becoming a mess. Ooh, so I am finding a little bit more. It's not a ton, but I got two more there. So it looks like that even though, you know, they spawned in during the night, they're sticking around during the day, and that's always good. Okay, so. See a couple more over here. I'm trying to deal with them, but then just more pop up. Never ending problem, really. But we'll, we'll head off this way, and I'll look around for a tiny bit more, tiny bit longer, just to see. Look at this big guy. I guess that, that must be, oh gosh. There you go. That must be a, 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 gor a Largo at some sort. I just don't know what combo. I wonder if I've been over there. I would think so. Yeah, there's a Largo we found over that way trying to find any extra buzz wax and any other collectible really because I can make the most of them for sure. We're just fruit, fruit's always good. I don't really need the slime too much. I don't wanna launch them in the water. I don't think that's good. I mean puddles, not ocean. I think they're more of a freshwater slime, you know? Uh, Cause there's you, yeah, and I think I have you on there. So we'd have to feed you in the nighttime. Cause it's a, uh, I think I'm eating one. Well, in the meantime, you can see that one of them grew here, but it probably just landed right in the mouth of a flutter slime. I remember finding a couple in this area. I think that now in sea time, we won't actually stumble across them. I could be wrong, but we have our two. So at least that's something. I, I don't know if that's supposed to be a cave or not. I think it might be. I think, yeah, there's the, there's an angler slime down there. We already found it, so not worth worrying about. Is this a cave? No, no. But there's a pot, so I can grab some of that stuff. I, mean, I guess our progress is really starting to slow down here. But don't worry, there's plenty of tar to give me something to do, right? <laughs> Even if it's not really what I want to do. Lots of mint mangoes and stuff, but still not really what I'm really after. So, with no more nectar, there's not really too much of a point to hang around here. I think we'll head home and start wrapping up today's episode. Okay, so I finally made it out of the Starlight Strand, and I forgot that I had never put this portal here. Let's just put the blue home, home portal there, just to make it a little bit easier to get back and forth. And yeah, now we're back home, where I can, at the least, you know, put our silky sand that I found on the way back home in there. These puddle ports as well. 
and just whatever extra we might have of this nectar. Six of it so far. I don't think that, unfortunately, that's enough to pop a Gordo, but we could find out in time, right? In the meantime, there's still a couple of other things to tend to to just make sure all of our little friends are happy and healthy. So I'll do those things really quickly, and then I think we'll be done for today's episode. We got that extra honey, though, so I'll definitely be able to craft something with that. That'll be great. So one thing cool I just noted is that when you fill this up with ash, you can literally see it fill up with ash. It'll be really quite low when you know that you need to put more in. So there we go. I was able to stack up on a quite a few more uh, ports there. So I think I just have to head back to the cave and figure some things out there. But I mean, it might just do that between episodes at this point because I think we're just about wrapped up with what I want to do in today's episode. So for right now, I will get these water ports in there. Same thing with the fire. And then I think we're good for just about everything. We got the 100 flutter ports we needed. I do need to restock on some of these, but that really shouldn't be too difficult. Um, the water's at 93 and the fire's at 30. So the third, the, the fire needs a lot more work, but we'll get there eventually. In the meantime, let's see who's hungry. I guess nobody. <laughs> um, I'll try to just fill up some of this stuff because we've made a ton of money. We're at 43,000 now, and this is gonna jump us up another good chunk of cash. And then we'll go down to the caves again because there, there might be a couple more upgrades waiting for us. Let's go take a look. So right down this way, we can see for ourselves. Uh, we have the boots upgrade. We have the honey for it. I don't think there's anything else we could use that honey for at the moment. Doesn't look like it. So yeah, let's try this. The Dash Boots 2, experimental footwork capable of reducing the cost of sprinting even further. It makes you think walking is for suckers. All right then, so if for this one we need 1,500 new bucks, 20 boom ports, 10 flutter ports, 10 wild honey, 10 lava dust, and one dash boost module. So after this, we'll be fresh out of wild honey. I'll we'll have to go find more soon. It's difficult to come across, but there we go. So now our dash boots should be fully upgraded. That's really exciting. So we're getting really efficient when it comes to energy usage, and we should be able to get around a lot faster. And if we create things like the dash pad, even more so. So I'll start collecting some of this stuff and really start building these out soon enough in some upcoming episodes. But I think for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Slime Rancher 2. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.